Come on then. Well, we've come out on the beach in the dunes for a walk and uh, it's, it's windy. I don't know if you can tell, but it's quite breezy. Hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. Um, but it is quite breezy. So behind me is that enormous Channel Coast beach. It just goes on and on for miles, especially when the tide's out. Uh, and if I turn into the wind, beware, you get to see, you get to see the nuclear power station. <laughs> but for now, Mr. Bailey and I are going to do a bit of ball chasing. Catch you later. Oh, well, as the French might say, c'était brutal. It's very windy. Il fait du vent. Once you get away from the willows here and the dunes out on the beach, oh, it's like being in a wind tunnel. I lost my hat three times. Had to retrieve, managed to retrieve it, fortunately, lodged in the grasses on the dunes. I threw a ball that way and it went that way. <sighs> We're both getting sandblasted, barely a bit more than me, I guess, because he's close to the ground and um, it's really not actually any fun. So uh, I think we're going to call it quits, get a coffee and uh, then find a supermarket and do some serious grocery shopping. Otherwise, I won't be able to have any lunch. <laughs> update oh look the hair's all flat um, I found somewhere to get some groceries I've got a load of stuff um, learnt the French well learnt and instantly forgot the French for loyalty card I don't have one <laughs> um, tried to get diesel robot fuel pumps weren't working so then I drove across country to another small supermarket did get some diesel now it's about half past two and I'm gonna get some lunch and I'm going to figure out where I'm going to spend the night and that means getting on the Camper Contact app and uh, looking for one at a suitable distance from where I am now and then I will head for that. So the long day wore on with lots of rather samey northern French countryside until I arrived at my selected spot to spend the night by the canal near Abbeville. Good morning, the internet. Uh, it is the morning of Friday, the 
8th of April. Uh, I've spent the night in uh, Abbeville and uh, I need to head off south in somewhat earnest. Now, the trouble with navigating across France is that if you start in the north, like, say, Calais, it's very hard to go south without getting inexorably sucked in towards Paris. There's nothing wrong with Paris, but it seems to attract traffic, and it has Europe's most terrifying urban road, the Peripherique, which, if you've not been on it, it's a bit like the M25, combined with the north and south circulars, with about three times as much traffic. In places it's got five or six narrow lanes, everyone's doing about 60 miles an hour, and it's got millions of junctions, not just off to the right, as you'd expect in a right-hand drive country, but sometimes off to the left. And you often have to change across four or five of those lanes to get to the lane you want with almost no notice. Added to all of that, French driving habits, which are pay a lot of attention, but drive fast and very close behind the vehicle in front. And the fact that quite a lot of the periphery is either in a tunnel or in a deep cutting so that your GPS won't work. And it can be a bit stressful. I don't want to go there if I don't have to, um, so I'm going to try and carefully navigate my way around to the east of Paris by heading from where I am now uh, down towards uh, Beauvais and then, uh, uh, um, what's this place called, Dreux, and then uh, Chartres and Orléans. And I'm thinking that I'll probably try and spend the night somewhere around Orléans maybe a little bit further south towards uh, Viazon, but we'll see. Um, and I'm not going to ramble too much because the little battery in my pocket recorder is nearly out of juice. So we'll leave it there and uh, catch up with you on the road. Bye for now. And once out of Abbeville, there came more rather dreary and very wet and at times sleety northern French countryside. I'm afraid once you've seen a couple of hours of it, you've kind of seen it all. But it has to be done. And there really aren't any motorways that take you directly past Paris without dragging you through it. So there was little to be done other than keeping on keeping on. <laughs> And then, after a break for coffee and lunch, it was back to that dreary French countryside that goes on and on and on. And it was in this lay-by that I paused, had a much needed cup of tea and worked out where I was going to spend the night, which was in an air de camping car in Saran, a sort of satellite suburb just to the north of Orléans. It was pleasant enough, 